the basic question is, is forex trading permitted? Is buying foreign currency and then selling it for a higher price permitted? Is forex trading in foreign currency like uh, USD, US dollars, in sterling pounds, in Japanese yen, is it permissible? Can you do forex trading online through a broker, etc. As far as forex trading is concerned, as far as buying foreign currency and selling it, if you do not break any rules of the Sharia, if you follow all the rules of the Sharia and you are within the rules of Sharia as far as trading is concerned, it is permissible. For example, if a person goes and buys a foreign currency, if you exchange your dollar and buy sterling pounds, and later on, later on, after a few weeks or a few months, the sterling pound goes higher, and you sell that sterling pound back and get a bigger amount of dollars than what you purchased for, it is permitted, as long as it is done on the spot with your own money. But when you do forex trading on a larger scale with different things involved, there are many haram things involved in it. Directly buying from the exchange, keeping with you, then selling as long as it is your money and no other thing, haram thing is involved, it's permissible. But normally what happens in forex trading when you do on a higher level, there are many associated haram things involved. For example, you may book for buying and then you may delay. You pay some money and delay the deal. This is haram. And you pay some money, that's called as rabah. You may trade in margin. So you pay only 10% and the balance somebody else pays and then you share the profit with it. A beloved prophet said that if you give loan to someone, you cannot involve profit in it. Or if you take loan from someone, you cannot give him profit. So this becomes haram, this becomes zirba. So many things are associated with forex trading, especially when you do on a large scale. There may be futures, which is haram. There may be options, which is haram. So as long as no haram things are involved, it is permitted. But many a times, most of the time, when it's done on a large scale, there is borrowing with riba, there is futures, there is options. So these involve haram, haram elements, which make it haram. For example, Insurance per se is not haram. But the conventional insurance is haram because it involves interest, it involves gambling, it involves things which are not sure. So if it doesn't involve gambling, doesn't involve riba, doesn't involve unsurety, if it's takaful, it's permissible. So insurance per se is not haram. Similarly, trading, buying and selling foreign currency per se is not haram. But because associated things are there, even in online, one important factor is that, that if you buy, see it is an on-the-spot transaction. So if you buy on the spot and exchange with the hand, it's permissible. If you are doing online, see to it, you get the currency with you on the spot. If there is a delay and if it's later on, future is involved, then it becomes haram. If you take a loan and do margin trading, it becomes haram. If there are futures, if there are options, it becomes haram. But generally, trading in foreign currency and making a profit on the spot, if it's your own money, without involving haram activities, it's permissible. Stay away from the haram activities, it's fine. Hope that answers the question.